Good afternoon, my crafty friends. This is Debbie with TR Red Market. Hopefully everybody's having a great day. Okay, so this is start of a new project. And um, these are tags that were left over from Tracy Fox Creative Digital Prints from the Creep on June 2024. So I was just going to kind of show you what I have, and then maybe I can uh, have time to decorate. But this is what they look like and then you can fold them and you can just you know you can decorate inside but what i've decided to do um is make them kind of like an accordion a flip-flop style um i don't know what you call it but i'm gonna uh, like this is the front we'll open it this way and then the other one you know will open or close that way so kind of like that that's where I'm kind of getting the accordion style from. So this is, okay, so um, first off, you can find all of these, uh, you can find her printables. She has an Etsy shop. She has her own website. Um, so yeah, you can find her all over the place, but I'll leave her link below. And that way, you know, you can find all of her, uh, you can find her whole Creep on June uh, playlist with all of the creators so yeah um the the um part that um i have to give a, a shout out to um is it bell creative bellaboo 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 creative <laughs> sorry i didn't write that part down but yeah i it was inspired from her she had done um another project uh similar to this so I decided to go ahead and use, try and use up as much as this as I can. I have so much left over. Um, very generous. Um, it was very big, the, um, the printables. So for not, you know, not a lot of money, you got a lot of printables. So you can use over and over again. So, um, yeah, let's see. This one I had cut out in a um i just got this part out here because i want to put like a specimen in it from my i laminated some things together you know what i'm jumping ahead of myself so i'm trying to do my list over here so what i've done here is i've left about uh, this is like an eighth of an inch i didn't really measure when i did it it just seemed like that's what i wanted to leave in there and that's so it'll fold over and actually have room inside for embellishments. Now, I do want to tell you something. <laughs> Before you close the whole thing up to make a pocket, if you want to stitch, you know, open this up and stitch this part before. Because this is, you know, once this is all stitched up, this is, you know, this is the part that's creating your pocket. And I did um, I distress all this inside so in case if you've seen a little bit you don't want the bright white so that's why i'm getting ahead of myself because see what i did i forgot to stitch <laughs> i'm just gonna leave it i mean i could tear it apart but i think i'm just gonna leave it and maybe even use like a marker or something on here just to embellish it just a little bit so there's that. And then these are the ones that I've already, and I also gave everything a coat of Mod Podge. I just like that feel. It just feels, it feels different, almost like fabric. So I'm just kind of showing you these I have cut out. Some are sewn. Let's see, these I did sew, and I remembered to leave the pocket. Okay, these are the ones I'm starting with. Well, that's a little tag again. This is from the Tracy Fox Creative Digitals. So yeah, I I don't know why I had so many. I can't remember why I printed out so many, but I'm like, I want to use these. And then this is something I had created um, for a little Halloween, um, just um, a little project I did around my house. It's just the, um, you know, all the Latin name, Insectica. I can't even say all that. Maybe you guys can say that. But it's just kind of like a little label I thought was cute. I don't even know if this goes with the butterfly laminate that I did. So this is what I had done. I kind of, you know, tried to make these the size of this cutout here. Oh, picking up embellishments. 
So there's um, my dandelion there. This is a butterfly sticker. It might be kind of shiny. And these are uh, blossoms from one of my trees out back. That's the only one that has a dandelion because that's the last one I had. But then, um, but these butterflies over here, they kind of remind me of bats, the way <laughs> their wings are. Hopefully you guys can see that. Oh, and I threw in some brown thread. Now the backside does not look the same. I mean, I could have probably, you know, put another sticker over it. Oh gosh, you guys, I know that's really shiny. But I figured, you know what, it still looks good. Oh yeah, I am going to use this one here. I'll go ahead and set this aside. But also, if you don't have a laminate um, machine, you can use like packaging the cellophane. You know, you just have to um, you know glue it inside. But it's still it's still doable. I would just take the whole thing apart, glue it, and then put it back together, and you could sew around it. So I was just showing you with that. You can do something else with it. And I was trying not to get too ahead of myself just because um, I know I don't sew. Um, I don't film sewing. So I was trying to figure out a stopping point. So let's see. Let's go ahead and I'll get this cut. Oh, and these are just some other things I had printed up. And then this is just watercolor. I should have put it on cardstock. This is only paper. So I'm going to have to just, you know, back some of these things these are just you know um, Halloween little words and then it's saying at at night the fog was thick and full of light and sometimes voices it's just you know kind of an ominous little thing and what are the things that others fear something wicked comes this way no something wicked this way comes <laughs> So yeah, you know, the witching hour, sinister, ghost, dreadful. So that's just something easy that you guys can do. Like if you have a printer, you just print this stuff up. You put your own color on it. Um, yeah, these are just pages that I've been using to um, do some distressing on. These are just a little bit bigger than the book pages. So okay, let's go ahead and we'll cut this. I do want to kind of measure this a little bit. I don't like measuring, so maybe <laughs> maybe let's see if I can just mark this a little bit. A little, this is a fine point. Sharpie, permanent marker. Or, oh, it's ultra fine. Okay, let's see here. Just so I can get this in here. Does that edge look okay? Now, see, I, want, I do want to cut some of the edge off. Maybe about right there. And about. It doesn't have to go all the way because I am going to sew it. So I'm going to mark some more marks over here, over here, and we don't want that going past make a little L shape there we'll kind of do it like this so I know which way these are supposed to be going that one's a little low but that's okay it'll all work out yeah and I know these aren't like really scary looking butterflies <laughs> I just figured by the time you embellish and everything, it, it'll look good. I just, um, are you guys, I just love decorating for Halloween. I don't know. It didn't used to be my favorite holiday. I don't think it's my favorite holiday. I still think Thanksgiving still my favorite holiday. But, um, yeah, and this is just a, a paper trimmer. And so, let's see. I guess I could go ahead and cut all the way down. Oh, I don't want to cut too much of the other one off, so I think we will stop. Right there. Just get past that point. I know you guys probably can't really see a whole lot of this just because it's uh, the clear and it probably glares all over the place. See about right there. 
I mean, I could always cut more off too. So there. I'm just gonna kind of leave these for. Um, I'll probably use at least another one. This needs to be cut off at the top. Oh, the sides need to be cut off a little bit. There we go. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, um, it's a lot easier to glue it in and then sew it. So um, I am going to do that. I'm running out of room. I have so much stuff over here, you guys. I, have, I know I have way too many embellishments. So yeah, I was just kind of leaving this here if I need it. That's not too annoying. Yeah. See, so yeah, plenty of room. Just kind of bring it over just a little bit and go up with it just a little bit. I'm trying to get it all in there, a little bit centered, like that. And then once it's all, this is this won't be a pocket. This will just be a little see-through. In the, I don't know what to call a cordy style flip flap. I, I, I really don't know what it's called. But it's a tag booklet. <laughs> it's just, you know, definitely just for fun. I'm going to go ahead and use art glitter glue. And this dries fairly quickly. So um, it'll be dry by the time I take it over to the uh, sewing machine. So I'll just go around the edges. Because if it uh, smears on the inside, this is not going to be a problem. It shouldn't. I think there's enough room where it won't push out. Could be wrong though. Yeah, my one last dandelion. Now I'm going to have to wait. Probably till when we get a good rain and. <laughs> Right there, it looks good. Yeah, and I'll glue that again just so the other side is glued down too. It'll, it makes it so much easier when you glue it down. And that's what I'm going to do also with the uh, fabric. I'll have to use sorry silk and lace. So, yeah, we'll just get this glued down some more. And there goes the dog. She's a little bit gets a little nervous there. She hears some stuff. Have a little toddler in the house, so <laughs> toddler gets excited, the dog gets excited. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Oh, there we go. There's my little specimen tag, I guess you would call it tag card. And then, yeah, we don't really have to worry about the um, the ends or anything. I'll go ahead and sew that. The, um, yeah, like there's a little gap here, but that'll all be sewn. Go around all that when I get ready. Let's see here. There right, you guys. I think that turned out really cute. And I have more to do, so I can at least get another one in there. Now I have 11 of them. So I'm hoping, you know, I can do the 11. I'm sure I have enough supplies. Let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and move this over. Move it out of the way. Let's see. Now this one. And what I was going to show you also. Um, let's see. I'm just going over my notes. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and attach this one. Because I can still, like, I'll, I'll sew here. And then I'm actually going to close this one up. Yeah, this one's going to be closed up. So. And I was just going to show you how I also did that. The, um, I think it has a seam right there. Okay, let's cut that off. And we can use this. I can use this on one of the tags. So I'll save that. 
Okay, this one doesn't seem very long. Oh, it'll work. Okay, it's just kind of folded over and has a bunch of threads over here. Which, you know, that is not unusual at all for Sorry Silk to have that to happen. Just notice mine doesn't seem to rip like some of the other creators I've seen. There's just really ripped. So. Okay, uh, let's see. So I'm going to go. I mean, it's going to flip back the other way too, but I was trying to. So if it goes that way, I want it this way, right? No. <laughs> okay, so this is, I'm going to confuse myself, right? So no, it's going to go this way. So I want the, oh, I know, i got to flip it over. This way. No. I'm saying I'm going to flip it over that way. I want to see this. I want to see where this is laying down. Okay, this is kind of wrinkly. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I um, actually did go to, I had to go buy um, black thread at Joanne Fabrics, which is, yeah, kind of dangerous. I bought other stuff too. <laughs> it's like, it's so funny, you know, you go and do that and you're like, oh, look at all this cool stuff. <laughs> and you can, I can always trim if this is too long. I might just want to leave it that way. Oh, it's kind of messy. And this does dry clear, so I didn't see any of the glue. But that's what I mean by um, just... And I have to open this up. So I want to see. Okay, it's coming off. I want to see that um, area in between because I do want to leave it. Okay, maybe I should dry that a little bit. It might help. Oh, the heat gun out here. I'm trying to flip it over and it's not cooperating. But I just like the um, kind of wine color, maroon color. Sorry, silk, it kind of, to me, has kind of that gothic look. That's kind of what I'm going for. Like, grungy gothic. <laughs> I do need a name for these videos, so. Grungy gothic or gothic grungy? I think I like grungy gothic. You just kind of have to keep it away from the laminate, though. You don't really want to reheat that. Okay, I think that's dry. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's not moving. Yeah, that's hot again. Hey, you guys, just remember too, actually this, um, your packaging, cellophane, yeah, that will melt. So just beware. Gotta be careful when you're trying to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to put it on here first. Like I said, this... Um, just we need to, I just need to get this down because I am stitching it and it'll reinforce it. But I do want to make sure that I have a nice gap in between. So any embellishing that I do, I think it's more than an eighth. It might be closer to a quarter now. I'm looking at this. Here. Rub that. I don't know if you guys can see that really well or not. Let me see. I'll kind of lift it up, let you guys see it. I'm going to dry that again. Just um, I was just noticing when I was trying to keep it away from that. And then I took some lace. This lace is from um, an old garment. I was no longer wearing. So, yeah, just um, this is where the goth, I guess, is coming in. Just taking a piece. It's just a random piece. It's nothing like I'm not measuring anything. 
So yeah, I'm just getting it on there. And then I can always trim up if I think it's too much. We'll just leave it on there and put the glue on here. Pop that on. Okay, and then um, once you run the stitches, and then they'll go right through. So that'll be stitched right on. So there we go with that. And I think what I'll do is now, well, let me see. Let me get a piece of paper maybe to rub over that. Get that a little bit dry. I hope you guys enjoy um, following. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's stuck to the paper. So, <laughs> we're going to dry that. I'm going to try to put a piece of paper right there. It might help. Keep some of the heat of it off. I mean, if it doesn't stay, I'll just, um, I'll just have to hold on to it over there at the sewing machine. So, this is how it's going to go. Go like that. And then I'll continue to do that. Back and forth, back and forth. So, this is going to be like, because it does that, you can stand it up. Let me see if you see that. You'll stand it up like on a, um, on a shelf or table or something. And then you have a little display of Gothic grunge. Like I said, this is from, um, I think it's Bella Boo Creations. I don't know. I like watching her videos. She's very, um, she tells stories. <laughs> I just love it. So he's telling little stories about stuff. So like, say if you think that's too much, you can cut that off. Just, yeah. So this is the actually the front. So let's see. I have this here. I have so many different things. I kind of like tag shapes. But I am going to make my tags are all going to be fairly plain. Because they won't, I don't think they'll fit in the pocket very well if I make them too thick. So let's see. I'll just, I, I cut out a bunch of different stuff. There are so many different things that I've had. Well, these are just my little cutouts. From my Zizix machine, I chose the green and the black. I think I might try to find some like burgundy or purple paper, maybe. And then um, we have her. I kind of like these. These are little masks. Children, maybe I'm not sure. Let's see that that was on there because I have this little um, collector of curiosities, which I thought was kind of cute. So this does need to have some ink on it, though. So I think I might tuck that under there. I have to trim it just a little bit. So yeah, this is now, this is just the part where just, you know, you go to town, you decorate however you want. And this, uh, I think that's just a dragonfly butterfly. I'm not sure. It's really big though. But I did cut up a bunch of other little things. So I have more butterfly stickers. Those are kind of blending right into that here. Yeah, I've been busy. I've been cutting a lot of stuff out. Some of this is just blending right in. It's like a pocket watch. I didn't, I gotta finish cutting out. There's some of these bats that I cut out from um, packaging. Now these I think I want to embellish a little bit more. Now let's see, what do we have over here? We have another mask. Oh, that one's kind of big. Let's um, have a top hat. 
Um, this is a from a Ouija board. I can't think of the name of that. I'll have to look that up and tell you guys what that is. Another clock. And this is like a statue in a cemetery. I oh, don't like that. These are just some little um, labels. Now, these are Artie Mays labels. That has a little color in it. So I kind of like that. Uh, this is Cemetery. This is a dial of some sort. Oh, look, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to use one of these up here. Perfect. You know, I did. I cut these out like a couple days ago, so um, <laughs> like I can go. Oh, have those. This is witches. And then here's some postage stamps. They're from printables. I'm just pulling stuff out right now, you guys. I, I'm not going to put all that on there. Oh, here's a moth. Ooh. That looks nice on there, huh? That orange. The gold, the gold ones are just kind of like blending in with that back. And this one says that laudamon poison, but that's in the, um, that's in that gold. These are, um, these have the embossing on them. Some of these did. Some of them I embossed. Those up there, I don't know. Kind of the yellow. Yeah, these will look better on a, a blue or a green. I think you'll be able to see them more. This is from uh, 49 Dragonflies. This is one of her uh, free digitals. Artie Mays. Uh, this is from Louisa Heinzel. So there's two of these and they're different sizes. Oh, let's see. I think I looked through everything pretty quickly. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it just says poison. So yeah, I've been busy cutting things out. These are all, um, except for the stickers. The stickers, I, um, they're just stickers. So they were already cut out. A little tiny one. Um, just a little frame. Well, let's see here. Um, there's just like a layer, a bunch of stuff up. I can use this frame. Fancy frame. I'll probably save that for something else. Then I could just tuck things around this. I have a little bit of white there. Put that off. And now we're just going to use um, Distress Oxide and Black Soot. I'll tell you guys, I don't know if you participated in with it, uh, Creep on June and Pop That Kit, but I think it's great for um, like the Halloween, you can make it a gothic, I mean you can just do whatever you want with it. So this is like an apothecary uh, shelf, collector of curiosities, I like that. And let's see, let's just move these out of the way. I just kind of got these out just to um, like see what, what I have, what's going on. And then I have, this is from a book, a book spine, kind of that netting. I don't know if I'll use that. And then when I got my black thread, I always, you know, check the stitching. So, kind of a piece you can use to tuck in. So, and I do have some um, washi tape. And, um, what else did I buy? I bought some other things. So, um, yeah. Oh, you know what? I was going to put one of these up here, I think. So I think I want it more distressed than it is. Sorry, guys, got a little sidetracked over here. Let's see. Let's find the brown one. Find some paper.
Oh, I guess I could have used my blending tool. I think I'll darken it up a little bit with the um, walnut stain, and then um, when I rip it out, I'll um, put the black soot on it. Oh, yeah, and this was my purchase, too, from my black red. I bought some more of these sprays, shimmer sprays. Um, this one is Pure Sunshine, Tangerine, Orange, and something red. I'm not sure what that says. Looks like a made-up word. I don't know. But I kind of I like the red. Because it kind of goes with that um, burgundy, hopefully. Yeah, this is uh, one of those. <laughs> I was been so busy, like cutting things out for the project. I was like, okay, I just need to start now. So I think I have two or three containers over here. Of Items that is a potential. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can straighten this up a little bit. Oh, maybe not. I have it jagged, jagged. I don't want to lose the words there. I didn't want it to take up the whole thing though. I kind of don't like that. Be a little bit straighter. It just seems like it's just taken way too much off. Oh, I guess I could. No, I don't want to go up on it because you can see the back of it. Do it like that. Just straighten it out, you guys. Yeah. I didn't want to have it all straight, but it just was not looking good. And then I think this helps. Ooh, um, oh, sorry, you guys. I know that's shiny in there. This kind of pulls it out. I could put something underneath it. You know, put some of that uh, book binding material. It's a really, it's um, really heavy. So I probably should like sew it on and then glue it, huh? Okay. I wonder if I can get that to or maybe it's so thick it feels just feels so thick because of the um the glue that's on it. I just opened you. You should not be stuck. A bead of glue right here. Just a little bit. There we go. I do like the grunge. Now, if that doesn't seem to be wanting to stay, I can always, you know, re-glue it or put a stitch on it. It should be fine, though. Okay, so there's that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of just doing this in sections, and, um, you know, hopefully you guys will follow along. I mean, this could be like a two-day thing if um, <laughs> I just keep recording. I just thought, you know, we could do a page, um, a tag or two. Just depending on how elaborate it is. And then that way, you know, don't take up too much of your time. Just more distressed oxide. That'll go in there. 
yeah, that I don't even have to cut anything off. Now these are from Tim Holtz. And these are super thick. <laughs> like super thick cardboard. Let's see if I can do this without injuring myself. Getting bored. Hold this. I'm just putting that blade down in there. I don't always get it. It doesn't come off all the time. Like, oh wait, oh, yes, let's say it doesn't always come off all the time, even. But that time it did. So there we go. I I just that to me. That's just too thick for me. Well, for this project anyway. Well, just um, snip the, a little bit off so it fits on there. No, oh, and it doesn't even have to be straight. It's a little too long, huh? Well. I'll just do it at the top then. Of curiosity. Or we'll just put it in two, two rows. Just make sure they get this all inked up. Maybe I have curiosities down here. There. And then, yeah, now we can just, um, I'm just kind of laying this out now. And then if this is too like pristine looking, I guess, you can just you know, you can dab it, blend it, dab it, darken it up. I do like the green now. Let's see, you can kind of just give it more color. And you can also, you know, you can put some like shine on these, like some gold or something like that. Oh, I covered up the face. That looks strange coming out of her head. <laughs> well, that looks better like that. Okay, there we go. If the blender would work better. I think that helped that look just a little bit better to just to darken it up. And then we already have the black, so that's not necessary. Can actually go up tall because oh, I forgot about this, huh? That one there too. So this will that go in there? Yeah, that'll go in there. It's gonna go in there, and the that also go on top. I think I'll pull this down because this can go actually go on top.
and go on top of there. Just want to try to just put on a lot of different elements. I think it just, um, I think it just holds more interest. You guys let me know if you um because there are several more there's going to be a total of well if you 11 cards so there's going to be um there won't be 22 backs i say but at least 22 sides so if i put another one of these in maybe i'll put maybe i'll put three in then that way let's see i think that's going to be in the background That'll be on top. And then this can be I'll trim that just a little bit. I put a little stamp on there and a label, baby. Gotta give it that grunge. It's kind of like, kind of like where you want it, you know. <laughs> we maybe have one of the shiny ones down here. Yeah, this is going to go at the bottom though, just so I have some more room. We'll get that inked up. Oh yeah, we have these too. Can we get this on there? Oh yeah. Look at that. Okay. I think that's what I'm going to do. Got to get rid of the white on the, my little cutout area. I think that's what's so fun about this too. I don't think you ever could have too much on this, uh, what do I call it? Grunge Gothic. I think that's going to be the name of it. Grunge Gothic. So if we do, if I can do like at least two sides, in each video without you know it being like two day things <laughs> then um that'll give um at least 10 days at least 10 days so we might run into october but um just because i'm also doing the other project the um mini journal christmas tree ornament but uh yeah we'll just have to wait and see how it goes i don't really think i like that like the red and orange and oh, so it just needs something else down here. Maybe this one. I think I like this one a little bit better. Maybe we'll put some corners on it. Um, some rounded corners on it. Or not. Before I do anything. And then we just need the uh, black soot. And then we'll get this color down. Uh, there we go. So we'll get this down here. Let's see if I can remember where everything goes. No, you're supposed to take a picture, but let's see. Let me just move this out of the way and glue the bottom. Because I think this, yeah, this can be tucked in. Oh, I think I need to trim just a little bit. There we go. I kind of like that um, collector of curiosities. Boy, that really, I got it. Sorry guys, if you guys hear stuff, the mic helps a little bit, but it's still just, oh, I was just going to glue the bottom, wasn't I? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe I can, let's see, I might be able to wipe some of that off a little bit. Mm. 
Uh, let's see, we want to tuck all of this in. This in there. Easy to do. Get it in there as best I can. Let's see here. I don't think that was going to go in there. I think I like the uh, stem there popping out. We'll just do it like that. Oh, I don't want the no. those two down yet. Okay, those are messy. Messy, messy, messy. Go down with them now. I guess I kind of just want the illusion like it's really long. Get this on there. We're getting busy. Well, I guess I don't need that. <laughs> That's just really hard to get that on there. And this, I think I had it up higher, but I'll just go for it. We have the little one over here, I believe. Yeah. Kind of look like it's attached. Kind of, you know, like overlap them just a little bit so it looks like they're connected. I guess I'm going to go over and shut my door. Yeah, I'm still here, guys. My, my dog pushed the door open, so <laughs> but I didn't have it latched all the way. So there we go. Okay, sorry. About that. Okay, let's see. Put this on now. Okay, we're just gonna put this on now and leave it open just a little bit over there. Probably not the same at all, but kind of close, right? got to remember this is open so I can tuck stuff under there still. A stamp under there. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. I think I kind of got mixed in there a little bit. Over the top of that. I'm going to do the butterfly. Maybe. <laughs> I always have this issue when I'm layering. Oh, yeah, I didn't want it like that. Ah, butterfly there, like coming in, flying in. Coming in to check it out. I think that's it, right? That's all I grabbed. I just got to get my label on there. Curiosity there, a little moth, not butterfly. Did I call it a butterfly? It's a moth. I'm pretty sure it's a moth. There we go with that. Okay, I think we can get them back down again. Some paper. 
paper over here. What I do with my little book? I don't know. I don't know what I do with my little book. So I'll have to really wait for him. Okay, and here we go. Okay. Thing down. Oh, this down there. And my hands are so gooey. I didn't want this whole cat to rub off on it. Flower needs a little bit more. Pick that up. That too. I need to move it over just a little bit. And I see a little bit of glue, but that'll dry. Go ahead and push that out of the way. I can get out of the way. Okay, we'll get this down here. This over there. Oh, oh. <laughs> what did that do? I'm not wanting to stick very well. So. There we go. Oh, that looks kind of weird. They're lined up too much, but I just. I'm going to go with it. I'll put something else there, maybe. I'm going to put another butterfly there. And a tiny little one over here. And this is going to go over here. No. Another little butterfly. I just want to kind of balance that out. Yeah, I think that looks good over there. Put another little one. I kind of just, it just, I don't know. There we go. It just makes it so it's <laughs> not so square, rectangles on there. 90 degree angles there we go okay you guys Let's see i think i got everything on there i think that looks good don't you think that looks orangey goth if not what else should i call it <laughs> but okay there you guys go there's that isn't that cool like you can see part of it through it Probably see it more on this side. Yeah, I just thought I just think that's going to be so fun when it's all done. I put it up on the fire, my fireplace, where I have a uh, a ledge. So okay, you guys. Um, until next time, you guys, happy crafting. Bye bye.